guys, it's Liv. Today I am bringing you some vegan movie night recipes. So this video is sponsored by Thrive Market and I am so grateful to them for sending me some of the ingredients that I use in these recipes. Thrive Market is offering all of my US viewers 25% off your first box of groceries as well as free shipping. So they have like really premium, healthy, good quality products. The kind that you could find at regular supermarkets, but Thrive Market actually sells them at wholesale prices. So they on average cost about 25 to 50% less than the same products would at regular supermarkets. And the way they do this is through a membership system. So you pay $60 a year for a membership and then that gives you access to shop at Thrive Market. And and for everyone who joins, Thrive Market actually donates a membership to a low-income family or a veteran or a teacher. So they're really just trying to make healthy eating affordable for everyone. So that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. So we're starting with this Thrive Market brand sprouted white wheat flour and this is organic, non-GMO and sustainably farmed. So we're just adding that to the bowl with some cane sugar and baking powder and whisking it until it's combined. Next we're adding some non-dairy milk, I'm using almond milk as well as a flax egg. And then we're using the Thrive Market brand coconut oil, and I love this one because it's ethically sourced, cholesterol-free, and has no trans fats. So coconut oil is a good fat to use in this recipe. And then we're just going to stir all of that together until it's all smooth and combined and there's no lumps. Then you just want to spoon it into a donut pan. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I find if you go slow, it's pretty easy not to make too much of a mess. The batter should make enough for exactly six regular sized donuts. So just fill them up until they all look pretty even. And then you're just going to bake that at 350 Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes. Once they're done, you can pop them out of the pan and while they're still a bit warm, you can dip them in some cinnamon sugar. So this is just the same cane sugar mixed with a little bit of cinnamon and it will stick to the donuts because they're still a little bit warm and a little bit sticky on the outside. And the chocolate sauce that I'm using is just some Thrive Market vegan chocolate chips mixed with some almond milk and I put that in the microwave to melt it. For anyone who asks where to get non-dairy chocolate chips, Thrive Market has some really good organic, vegan chocolate chips that are actually made in the US. For this recipe, we're going to make our own guacamole and it takes about two minutes to make this. So you're just going to cut two avocados in half and then scoop them out into a bowl. And then just using a fork or a masher, you can mash them up yourself. Once they're all mashed, we are going to add the juice of half a lime, a little bit of salt and pepper, and stir it up. It is really that easy. I don't add any garlic or onion to this, but if you want, you can totally add it. I just love how simple this one is to make and how fresh it tastes. So you're going to start layering the guacamole in the bottom of these and you can pretty much use whatever you like in these uh, layer dips. You can use like refried beans. Um, I'm going in next with some vegan sour cream. I bought mine from the store but you can make your own out of cashews. There's tons of recipes how to make that online. And then I'm adding some salsa on top. Then I'm adding some chopped bell peppers for color, but you could also add some black beans on top of this or tomatoes or whatever you want. And then I'm finishing it off with just a tortilla chip just because I think it looks cute, but obviously serve this with more than one tortilla chip. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoy these recipes and I hope you make them for your next movie night. I know for me, chips and salsa is one of my favorite movie night snacks, so I think that putting it in a little parfait form like this is just so cute and if you're having a bunch of people over, it's easier than having one big bowl of dip. Um, as you can see, there is no one with me today. I am flying solo for this taste test, so yeah, let's just get into it. I haven't tried the parfait yet, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory what it's going to taste like. My suggestion is if your glasses aren't very wide, like mine are kind of tall and skinny, if you just have like some little spoons or something you can give to people so they can spoon it out, then that would be perfect.
Even though there are some really good store-bought guacamoles, I just really love the taste of making fresh guacamole myself. I feel like homemade stuff just pretty much always tastes better, so. Okay, donut time. I am not going to lie to you guys. Uh, obviously, I already tried these donuts and it is as good as it looks in the video, so trust me when I say you have to make these. So both of the recipes are amazing. I would never make anything that I didn't personally love myself or that I haven't tested out before. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you make any of the recipes, be sure to take a picture and tag me on Instagram at Lives Healthy Life. As always, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>